Indonesia is set to vote for a new president on Wednesday. It's been a bitterly divisive campaign and there are concerns political tensions are inflaming religious intolerance. Jamal Allen Dogan has more from Yogyakarta. For Christians here in the city of Yogyakarta, a moment of worship means practicing their faith with uncertainty. And the ceremony is more somber and shorter than usual. Not only because it's the fasting month of Ramadan in this majority Muslim region, but because church churchgoers here are afraid. They say they have recently been subjected to verbal abuse and intimidation. A planned community Easter celebration was cancelled because of pressure from some anti-minority groups here a few months ago. There have been some people from outside Yogyakarta. They come here with their different sets of ideologies, their intolerant behavior and attitude, and they get to influence a small part of the community. Across town, this church was attacked a few weeks ago. What was once a place of worship has now become a crime scene. Intolerant groups here in Indonesia are still seen as an extreme minority. But recent attacks and acts of intimidation against non-Muslim groups have not only threatened to disrupt harmony here, they could also possibly tarnish the country's reputation of religious tolerance. Gerakan Pemuda Kaba is one of the many Muslim groups here in Yogyakarta. Its members say they're not anti-Christians, but they admit they expect everyone in Yogyakarta to follow an Islamic way of life. Our worry is in the remote places, in places like Sleman, for example. They lack education, they are poor. There is no smoke if there is no fire. These Christians wouldn't have been threatened. Their churches closed and destroyed if they had not built their churches illegally. Christians here say they have lived in peace with Muslims for generations and that recent disagreements of ideology may just be temporary, possibly brought on by the intense election campaigns. And so they hope that ballots being cast in a few days could also mean a return to their way of life that has long been free of religious animosity. Jamal Alindog and Al Jazeera, Jogjakarta, Indonesia.